everybody, this is Paul Neeson with the Raw Life Health Show, and I've been a raw food diet, eating a raw food diet now for a good amount of years. Oh, over 15, 16, even 18 years on a raw vegan diet. And people ask me what I eat on a regular basis on, a, on an average day. And I've been wanting to do this video for a while now. Before I show you what I actually consume on an average day, I'll tell you that this is what I'm doing now. And over the years, my diet has changed and what I did has changed. And I don't know how long I'll be doing this for, but for the last, I'd say, year or so, maybe the last, yeah, for the last year, this is how I've been eating. And if any raw foodist ever tells you they've been eating one way for the last 20 years, I'd uh, be skeptical to believe them because we learn a lot about what works best for our body through experimenting. And it's very rare or almost impossible that somebody will switch to a raw food diet, they'll eat a certain way and they'll find what works perfect and that's it and then that's the way they're going to eat. No, they experiment and they learn and things change as time goes on. So I have eaten different as, as soon as a couple of years ago and now this is the way I'm currently eating and as of now it's December 2012 for the, uh, for the if anyone's wondering when, when it is and I might make another video next year or in six months and it might be different. Uh, I'll, I'll explain a little if I have some uh, time of different ways I've eaten over the years, but I always get in a rough diet about the amount of calories, how much sugar, how much fruit, how much fat, and the source of the fat, and so on. Well, this is what we're doing right now, and this is how I'm doing it. Now, I do like to get a good amount of produce directly from my trees. I have some fruit trees when the fruit's in season, and I do like to get fresh coconuts right from the trees when able to do so. Uh, I either don't have time or it's not the season all the time, so sometimes I have to get my fruit from the store. Same thing with greens. I prefer to get my greens from my own garden, but if I can't, I'll go to the store. There are some things that I, must be organic for me and there are some things that I'll give a little bit of uh, slack to and that they don't have to be 100% organic, so it depends on what it is. For example, I consider eating uh, an avocado that's unorganic, but I wouldn't eat an apple that's unorganic. I want to make sure those apples are organic. So that's just an example. Bananas, I prefer organic bananas, but I'll eat bananas that are unorganic. They have a thicker skin, and I don't believe, I mean, I know they're sprayed and I know they're not ideal, but uh, it's not as bad as eating an apple where the skin, you're eating it, and it's more than the skin, it's what gets in the food. But I don't eat 100% organic, and as for supplements, I prefer to have supplements that are whole foods in a supplement form. If I am going to take supplements, I'll show you what kind of supplements I take now. But again, this has changed. There have been times where I went for years without any supplements. And there are times I did supplements more than I'm doing now. But this is where I'm at now. So usually start off my day, what I'll do is right now is I'll have some type of smoothie. Well, the first thing I have when I get up is I usually take probiotics. And uh, I take them on an empty stomach when I get up here. I have the raw probiotics for men. Uh, there's a couple of other different types of probiotics I like, but that's the first thing I do when I get up is I'll take some probiotics. Now, the next thing I'll do is I often take a E3 Live, which is a liquid algae, and to get that chlorophyll in my body. E3 Live. This one's called Brain On. It's on my website on rawlife.com. Brain On E3 Live. I just take about a couple of ounces of this. This is excellent. So this, uh, that's what I usually do to start my day. And I don't take them together. I'll usually take the, uh, currently I'm getting up around 4 or 5 a.m. And I'll take the probiotics as soon as I get up. I usually don't take uh, the E3 Live until I have my first meal, which is uh, either some fruit or, now even if I eat a salad at that point, my first meal is usually coming around 9 o'clock, so I'm already up like 4 or 5 hours before I consume my first meal. So it's like lunchtime. So I can eat a salad at that time and at times I have. But usually for my first meal, I'll have either some fruit or some type of smoothie. Again, if there's fruit in season off my tree, I might just have the fruit and eat the fruit. But right now what I'm doing is I'm having a smoothie every morning and uh, the main ingredient in the smoothie is bananas. And no, I don't eat all these bananas, but I do eat bananas. And sometimes what I'll actually do is if I get a good deal in the store on bananas, uh, because they could be anywhere, organic bananas are 99 cents a pound, but I've seen bananas uh, as low as 10 cents a pound that are just need to be eaten right away. And usually the ones that are 99 cents a pound are green and they're not ready to be eaten. Uh, so I like them when they're a little black just like this here, but if they're worse than this, I'll buy them for 10 cents a pound of a lot of them and freeze them. 
There are some foods that freeze better than others, and bananas are a food that freeze well in conserving the enzymes and nutrients and so on. It's not as ideal as doing it fresh, and fresh is best. But So I'll get my bananas at this right here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven bananas here, and I, I would say we well, probably use maybe five or six of these bananas for a smoothie uh, for myself, my wife, and my daughter. So we're going to eat about five or six bananas, and they're not big bananas. Uh, so that's for us. Now, I haven't broken down the, the calories and, and the fat and so on, and I'm sure there's some raw food fanatics out there that might want to try to break down what I'm doing right now. And I can tell you uh, it changes slightly. This is what I'm pretty much doing now. But again, it might be what I've been doing for the last six months or last year or so, but again, this isn't how I have always eaten and this is, how, this is not how I will always eat. And we've got to consider as well, there's times where I'll fast and I won't eat at all. So if you're trying to break down how much I get a week and you don't know my particular story, don't waste your time. Because when I say I do this every day, I might fast one day or two days a week and not get this. So that would, would, would change the numbers a little. Or if I'm traveling, I might have a day where I completely do something opposite than what I'm doing here. Again, do I recommend everyone eat this particular way that I'm suggesting right now? No, I'm answering the question of how do I eat on a regular day right now. I'm not saying this is how you should eat, and I don't recommend listening to people that say there's one way to eat for everyone or one amount to eat for everyone. This is what I suggest. So, so I got this right here, my bananas. Now, uh, you know, something to consider also is exercise. My, my ideal situation would be to get up early in the morning and exercise as much as I can or a good amount, getting my rebounding in, my calisthenics, and so on. In the summertime, I tend to do a little bit more exercise, maybe because it's lighter outside, it's dark outside. In the morning when I get up now, and I don't necessarily like to exercise when it's dark outside, but I'll go to the beach in the summertime and do a little bit more exercise. But, you know, again, you have to look at your situation. I mean, my situation is, my exercise, I'm chasing uh, children around or my child around the house all day long and playing with her. That's a lot of exercise, but we do our best to exercise, me and my daughter and my wife, and, and stretching and so on. But I, I might do more. I might, I might eat the same way, but just do more if I was doing a lot of exercise. So I might just double this or, or, or so on if I was doing more exercise. And if I'm doing less, I might even lower it. But this is exactly right now how it is. I'm not getting my normal exercise as I would like to, uh, as I usually do, because I'm an exercise fanatic. I love to get exercise, and it's one thing I, I got to get doing more. All right, so then we get to a smoothie. So in our smoothie, we usually have our bananas. And sometimes I'd like to put tahini or sesame seeds in a banana, in, in, in a banana smoothie. I call it a bahini. And uh, it's just delicious. And sesame seeds have a tremendous amount of calcium. And as for our sweetener, yes, the best sweetener is fruit. Fruit is the best sweetener. Bananas are the best sweetener. Or dried fruit is a great sweetener for the actual smoothie. But my choice is honey. Okay, so maybe I'm not a vegan. I'm a vegan. But honey, and I get fresh raw honey. I know my sources. I sourced it out. Not all honey is the same. I have my bananas, my honey. I might throw some berries in there. Again, uh, if we have berries uh, in our yard or our garden, we'll, we'll put those fresh berries in. If we go to a farmer's market, we'll get those berries. I don't like to do this as often, but uh, sometimes we have to go. We'll go to Costco and they have organic berries, and these are organic mixed berries. So you switch off. I, I would not suggest consistently doing frozen bananas and frozen berries and things like this. No, the fresher the food, the better. This, you know, so we want to keep that in mind. But right now I got the fresh, the, the fresh bananas, the frozen berries, the honey, and I'll throw in there some either some walnuts or some, some sesame seeds. And sometimes I'll actually even throw in there, I have here some, this is coconut butter, or sometimes I might throw in, I get a fresh coconut and throw in the coconut meat. And, and, and then I have a plant in my garden, it's called a moringa plant. I'll take some leaves from that moringa plant and throw that in a smoothie. And, Every so often I might throw in that smoothie, I might put in there some fresh greens, but usually not. Sometimes I put in there this, this vitamin mineral green powder, but again, usually not. I, I just do, as I just said, blend that up, and me, and my baby and wife, we share that smoothie in the morning. And if I'm still hungry after that, I might have some fresh fruit. 
and and consistent on whatever's whatever's in season, whatever's around. I want to make sure I'm getting that fresh fruit in my body, and I don't need a lot. I'm talking like an apple or a pear or something else. Okay, so the next thing I'll do is is in the middle of the day, maybe around oh around two o'clock or so, I'll have uh, some greens, and, and and I vary the greens. Kale is my favorite one. Uh, here I have some collards, but kale is the one I do most often. And I'll buy greens like this in a store. Now, I'd say for at least five days or six days out of the week, I'll just eat it just like this. I eat the greens just like this and that's it. A whole head of kale uh, or a whole head of, uh, of spinach or something else. So that's what I'll do five, maybe six out of days out of the week. Then that other day out of the week, on that day, maybe if I'm home or, or if I don't have as much to do, I might actually make a, a little salad dressing and chop this up in a bowl with some other vegetables and have a salad and, and eat it that way. But usually it's just eating this. I want to make sure I get those greens in my body, so that's the way I'm going to do it. Now there have been times where, uh, just last year for example, I was having a green vegetable juice every morning instead of my smoothie. It was a green thing in the morning I was eat, consuming. So again, it changes. Now instead of the green vegetable juice, I'm having my fresh greens every day. Uh, so, uh, well, the fresh greens and the vegetables, but I'm eating them just like this. So, and there are times where I'll just blend up salads, but so it changes, but that's what I'm doing now. So I get my fresh greens for lunch. And then after I have my fresh greens, uh, I'll either eat a couple of nuts, a handful of nuts, or an avocado, uh, just to wash it down with or to follow up the greens. And I don't, ma I make sure I don't eat uh, much throughout the day or anything throughout the day until I've had my greens. Is I want to make sure I get those greens and then I'll follow it up with uh, an avocado or, or if I have anything else that I have, I'll follow that up. Now, that's pretty much uh, what I'll do and then I'll come home and maybe around, oh, about 5 o'clock again, depending on the season, if it's light or dark outside. Uh, I don't do this often, but sometimes I do it, I'll make an almond milk. And with the almond milk, I'm pretty much using almonds. And again, almonds, you can't get raw almonds in the store. You have to get them through the mail. Uh, I have them on my website, rawlife.com. I get fresh raw almonds. And I usually put uh, maybe a half a cup of almonds and a half a cup of sesame seeds or, or some other type of nut in, in a blender with two cups of water. And sometimes I might make this a little bit more. And I'll blend it up. And I'll put either some honey or some dates in there to sweeten it. And uh, sometimes I'll put the coconut butter, and not all the time. I haven't been doing this much recently, but sometimes I use this uh, protein powder, this raw protein powder called Warrior Food. And so I don't, I don't do that often as, as, as I used to, but sometimes I might put that in there. And I just do that and blend it up, and I squeeze it through a almond nut milk bag, and I'll just drink that, uh, the liquid of that. And that's pretty much it for me right now. Uh, oh, one other thing I do, which I didn't mention, is when I first wake up in the morning, I got a, th a bottle with 32 ounces of water in it. And that's the first thing I do. I drink that before doing anything. I get my water in at that time, and that's what I do, and, th and that's that. So now we're looking at about 5.30, 6 o'clock. I'm pretty much done with what I'm doing. I've, I've eaten my last meal around 3 o'clock. I've had my almond milk, or if I don't have the almond milk, sometimes I'll have a green juice instead of the almond milk at that point, and, and that's it. Uh, so I don't, again, not every day, but I switch off between the almond milk and the green juice. And anyway, so that's that, and then I'll get to sleep, oh, around 9 o'clock or so, maybe sometimes a little earlier or a little later. And, and that's pretty much the way we do it here, uh, at least the way I do it. Now, something for people to consider is uh, my wife does not eat the same exact way I eat, and neither does my baby. People ask me, well, how does your baby eat? Well, with however my wife eats, because my wife spending the majority of the day with her, so they eat a pretty similar diet. My wife eats about an 80% raw food diet, but she enjoys uh, some grains and some other cooked foods that I particularly don't enjoy, so we don't eat the same exact way. You don't have to eat the same way. A common question I get often is, my wife or my girlfriend or my children don't want to eat the same way I eat. What should I do? Well, let them eat the way they want to eat. Just make sure they're eating healthy. And remember, there's more than one way to eat healthy, and that's the thing a lot of people, especially raw food, is often forget. So I hope this helped you, these tips and suggestions and everything else. If you have any questions, post them below the video, and if you want more tips, on how to eat healthy 
or, or just how to eat a raw food diet or do it successfully, I have a website, www.rawlifehealthshow.com. If you're watching it on, on that channel right now, thank you for joining. If not, if you're seeing this video somewhere else, go to rawlifehealthshow.com. You could either join up as a free subscriber or as a member. And as a member, you get many different benefits, especially every Friday I answer all viewers' questions during a video. So check that out. You can also call me Monday nights. I have a live call-in show, and that information is on my website as well. All right, everybody, thank you for checking us out. Until then, enjoy the raw food diet, the raw food life. Have a great day and a great raw life.